How's it going, guys? Last night, I finally saw Spider-Man Homecoming, and all I can say is, it's damn good. I had such a great time. Me and my girlfriend were laughing so hard. It was such a fun movie. Like, I just enjoyed every second of it. Tom Holland is, like, the best Spider-Man I think you could ever get. He just, he delivers such an excellent time. Like, in Captain America Civil War, I knew he was good. But here he just nails it perfectly. Like, he was the absolute best choice for this role. He nails Spider-Man. He nails Peter Parker. This movie is great. I love it. Michael Keaton does an excellent job as Vulture. He plays such an excellent villain. My only negative with him is... I wish he had like a bigger reason to be such a bad guy, but it's just for greed. But at the same time, I don't mind that, that prospect. It does give him like a more human, down-to-earth feel, but either way, like it's good. I just wish it could have been better, but even then, that's not a big complaint for me. Like, I really thought he was good. Like, he delivers a really powerful performance. Like, he's a real badass in this film. And the Vulture looks awesome, and there's some really awesome fights. The 3D in this film is stellar. Like, stuff was coming through the screen, jumping at me. I was like, whoa! Like, I loved it. Like, I think Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 had more 3D in it, but Spider-Man Homecoming has some really good 3D, and it was great. The characters in Spider-Man Homecoming are excellent. Even the characters you don't really like are are written very well and they're acted very well. Like, these characters are definitely, like, they feel like they're actual characters. Yes, I know some of these characters are not actually, like, 17, 16 years old, but some are. And the rest are in their early 20s, but they look the part. And these guys have great chemistry. Like, I was really impressed. This is what I've been wanting to see. And it just delivers, like, it gets some really great relationships. Peter Parker's friend is really funny and they have great chemistry. Aunt May is really good. She delivers an excellent performance. Tony Stark, he is like a father figure to Peter in this. And Robert Downey Jr. does an excellent job as usual. All around, the chemistry for this film is great. Like, I'm honestly going to say this right now. I think this is the best Spider-Man movie ever made. I don't think you can really top this by much. I mean, Spider-Man Homecoming is not perfect. I won't give my score just yet. I'll wait till the end, but... There's a couple things that could have been improved upon a little bit, but not by much. It, this movie does nail it. Like, Tom Holland does an outstanding job as Spider-Man, and... I love how Spider-Man in this is not very experienced. Like, he's learning how to be Spider-Man. He's making mistakes, he's being goofy, he's being funny. And he gets his ass kicked. Like, he does not win very easily. Like, it takes time for him to win. And he actually has to go through some major struggles along the way. And that's really good. The story is good. The pacing is excellent. The bad guy is awesome. I just wish he had a stronger modem, like I said earlier. But that's really a minor complaint. The 3D overall is really good. Maybe it could have been slightly better at some points. But overall, it's really good. Like, I was really enjoying it. And one thing I'm really happy about, and spoiler alert, the character Pepper Potts returns at the end to make a surprise appearance, and I remember in Captain America Civil War, it was revealed that Tony and Pepper were actually temporarily broken up, and I hated that. I was like, what? But at the end of this film, they're back together, and I was really happy to see that. So that was a nice little surprise at the end of Spider-Man, and that does not take away from Spider-Man. It actually fits in very good. Spider-Man Homecoming is stellar. Like I said, only a few things I wish could be improved upon, but these are minor. And I enjoyed this so much, I've already ordered the Blu-ray for this. Spider-Man Homecoming is a great film, and I highly recommend you guys check this one out. I give Spider-Man Homecoming a 9 out of 10, hands down. It's amazing, it's excellent, and I highly recommend you guys check this one out. And I can't wait to see Tom Holland's performance as Peter Parker and Spider-Man in the upcoming Avengers movies, and Spider-Man Homecoming Part 2, which is going to be coming out in 2019. I have very high hopes for that film, too, and I'm sure it's going to be great. Go see Spider-Man Homecoming, guys. You won't regret it. I will talk to you guys later. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off.